Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Bianca. Today I have three fall decor DIYs. For the first one, I'm going to be using this pumpkin stand from Dollar Tree and I'm going to be turning it around and using the back side just in case I want to use the original side. But before doing that, I'm going to go ahead and glue this little part down. That way you won't see it on the side that I'm going to use. I'm going to start off by using this Tuscan Red from Apple Barrel which really reminded me of fall when I seen it. I really love this dark burgundy, dark red color. I'm gonna go ahead and paint the whole pumpkin with this paint and then I'm gonna let it dry. Now I forgot to mention the little printout that you see on the side. I created that myself and I'm gonna be using Mod Podge to apply it to this. I'm gonna leave the link below if you wanna print it out for free. So once it was dry, I'm going to go ahead and trace the pumpkin out so I can put that printout on top of it. But don't trace it this way. Never turn it around on the other side that you're not going to use. The maroon part side that I am using, trace it that way because once I did finish and put the printout on top of it, it doesn't exactly fit it. So I'm just fixing that. Oh and also I didn't want the stem so I went ahead and cut that off as well. And I had envisioned Mod Podging this on and then kind of sanding down the sides off all around the printout. That way it could look more rustic. But I did do this on camera already one time and it didn't come out like I wanted. So I had to redo it again. So this time around I'm not sanding it down. What I'm doing now is just adding the Mod Podge little by little with the sponge brush and then rubbing it down with my fingers. And then you'll see me toward the end take this little piece of wood or if you want to use a card and kind of just rub out any little bubbles. Um, just be careful not to rub too hard or you'll tear the paper. The last thing for me to do is just to put a thin layer of Mod Podge on the top. Start off in the middle and work your way out. That way you don't smear any of the dark paint onto the piece of paper on the top. And also the orange part of the leaves on this printout. Don't go over it too many times or it'll smear as well. Also, if you want to make this you can cut the printout to fit exactly on the pumpkin, even the stem as well, and just paint the stem, even if you want to paint it a different color too. So once it dried, I just took a piece of this buffalo check scarf that I got from the Dollar Tree and tied it around the stem at the top. You can see there are some bubbles from the Mod Podge. I'm not really that good at using Mod Podge. You guys might be better at it. So remember, if you want to give this a try, you can use the printout linked below. I took out all of my fall decor so I could take pictures for my thumbnail and decorate with it and show you how you can add all of these Dollar Tree items to your decor and it just got me really excited for fall. For the next DIY, I'm going to be creating a fall window pane. Now I'm sure you have seen tons of people make these but I'm going to make one anyways because I really thought about how I wanted this to look. For those of you who don't know how to make one, I'm going to go ahead and show you. I didn't want to make a really big one so I'm just using these 4x6 frames from Dollar Tree. You can get whatever size frames you want. So the first thing I'm going to do is just remove everything and trace out this 4x6 sheet onto this orange paper that I'm going to be using to put inside of the frames. So I'm going to trace out four of them and put them into each frame. And I thought that would really give it a fall look. Now you can go to Walmart, Hobby Lobby, Get some scrap paper if you want a different look. I decided to use this orange paper because I already had a pack of different colored paper and that's why I decided to use this one but I think it would look really really pretty if you had like that dark red color that I just used for the pumpkin, burgundy maroon type color or maybe like farmhouse type scrap paper as well. I'm using my hot glue gun to glue all of the frames together. So I just add the glue and go ahead and pick it up and turn it around because the glue will get stuck to my craft paper at the bottom. And I start adding these popsicle sticks to the middle just so it will stay put together. And honestly, I've made a few of these throughout the years and they do hold up well. But if you do want a very secure hold and to also make sure it won't fall apart, then yes, use E6000.
Now once I'm done gluing all four frames together, I turn it back around and just add some more popsicle sticks to the frames. And trust me you guys, this makes such a big difference for it to stay in place. I'm cleaning it really quickly with Windex before I apply my wreath and they do have wreaths at the Dollar Tree. I've had this one in my craft closet that's just been sitting there so I decided to glue this on top of it right in the middle and then I'm going to take that Dollar Tree gather sign that I just hauled recently. These are so so pretty. I have not seen these before. And I just wanted to add these really pretty burgundy sunflowers. Um, this stem is from Dollar Tree. So I just remove all of those stems and start arranging it at the bottom. And then I start gluing everything down. Alright you guys, I'm a little bit obsessed with this setup. I took out all of my fall decor like I told you guys and I love adding the dark orange and dark maroon burgundy colors with those white and light green farmhouse colors. I think it's so 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 pretty and I literally cannot wait to start decorating for fall but obviously it is too early so I am going to wait a little bit longer. For the last DIY, I'm taking this three pack of black baskets from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to be making a little burlap basket out of it and adding some flowers to it. So what I'm doing is just adding some glue and the buffalo check scarf to it. And what I did was just fold it in half and start adding glue to the top. And remember, the, this scarf is really thin so uh, be careful not to burn your fingers whenever you do pat the glue down. Now that I've hot glued all of the top part, I just cut off the excess and then I'll add any glue to any areas that need it. And then I'm going to fold the bottom down, kind of like a present in a way and just glue everything down at the bottom. After cleaning out and organizing my craft closet, I found this pumpkin spice colored craft felt and I believe it was from Walmart. What I'm going to do is use half of it and place it on the edge of this basket. Now I'm basically just going to show you how I glue everything down. It'll be kind of hard for me to actually explain exactly how I'm folding things and gluing it down. So just watch how I do it. It's very simple. And I think this burnt orange color really makes anything pop. I really like this color. It's so pretty for fall. As you can tell, I only applied the felt in the front of the basket. I can also use it to do the back part, but I wanted to go ahead and show you how I arranged the flowers inside. So I started to arrange those burgundy sunflowers inside and also these other florals that came out during the springtime. But at the end, when it was all said and done, I didn't like the way it looked. So I just took those flowers out, left the burgundy flowers in there, and I just added a little stem of pine cones. And I got that stem from the Target Dollar Spot, I believe, one or two years ago. So I just put it right here on my console table just to show you how it looks. And I think it came out really cute. So 
thank you all so much for watching you guys i really appreciate it i'm almost at 20,000 subscribers i literally cannot believe it i feel so very thankful be on the lookout for a giveaway soon thank you all so much for the support and i'll see you guys in the next video